Today we are going over a teardown and reassembly of a Walther PDP Pro. How's it going everybody? Gonna do a quick teardown field strip of a Walther PDP Pro. Just want you to know that this gun is clear. So we're showing right here in front of the camera that there is no ammo inside of the firearm. So everything from this point forward will be on the same gun in the same condition. Thank you. Wanted to go over a quick field strip and reassembly of a Walther PDP Pro. So to start off, take the magazine out, check that it's clear. We're gonna do that three times. That's what you normally do, one, two, three. If there's anything in there, it would have ejected. So Walthers are super easy to take down. You simply take a little bit of pressure off of the uh, recoil spring, pull down on this little lever. Hopefully you can see that. Let go, pull the trigger, slide comes off. Once that's apart, take the recoil spring, push forward with a little bit of pressure. You can take that out. Then unlock the barrel and take it out. That is a field strip of a Walther PDP Pro. And I think I said 1911 earlier, but <laughs> let's go. Uh, this one is the gray frame compact size with the adjustable back straps, the performance trigger. Um, I did clean this one today, so it's got a little bit of fresh oil, but other than that, it's good to go. Have a TLR7 on there with, and Holosun SCS Optic. Reassemble is pretty simple. Put your barrel in. Recoil spring, make sure you have the skinny side forward so it fits through the opening in the front. Put a little bit of pressure so it locks into place. Pull back and you're done. That is a reassembly of a Walther PDP Pro. I love Walthers. By the way, if you haven't shot one, get yourself out to the range, rent one, borrow a friend's, do something, whatever you gotta do. They are worth it. Extremely accurate, extremely easy to shoot. Not a lot of recoil and they don't jam up, so all good. This Walther has been configured to run right-handed or left-handed. So you'll notice on the left side of the gun for right-handed shooters, you have your slide stop and your magazine release. But if you flip it over for a left-handed shooter, you still have a slide stop. And you can convert the magazine release over to the other side so you can run it with your thumb on your left hand. Kind of a neat little feature. This gun also comes with an adjustable rear sight. Uh, nice thing about these sights is Walther said, why reinvent the wheel? Let's just use the Glock sights, they're everywhere. You can find them aftermarket sights at pretty much any retailer across the country and use them. This one does have the adjustable sight which comes on the 34 and the 35 um, and it comes with the standard front sight. You can get aftermarket uh, suppressor height sights uh, from Trigicon or other companies and just throw them on and they work but you don't need to if you're running the Hollis and SCS because it co-witnesses with the factory height sights. 